Dressed to ill. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, suitcases. Let's go on an ocean cruise. And see the wonders of the world. Sounds like smooth sailing to me. Go, kitty kitties, let's go. Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and climbed aboard the SS Kitty. They could hardly wait to find out where they were going first. Welcome aboard, passengers. Our first stop, the Great Minx in the Hotsy Totsy Desert. Today's weather, sunny and very hot. Kit, come on, let's get dressed. Pretty awesome, huh? It's gonna be hot, Kit. Don't you want to wear shorts and a t-shirt? No, that's what everyone wears. Okay. Smile! Oh, I'm boiling. Wasn't that fun? No. Attention, passengers. Our next stop, the Oyster Islands. Today's weather, snowy and very cold. Wow, I can't believe it. Let's get changed. Kit, it's gonna be really cold. Don't you wanna wear a coat? No way. I'll look much cooler like this. Okay. Jeez. Freeze. Wow, what a great picture. Yeah, great. Uh, uh, achoo. Our next stop, the crying waterfalls of Wettenstein. Today's weather, rain, followed by showers and a downpour. I know what to wear. Mm, me too. Achoo. Are you sure? It's going to be very rainy. But I want to look nice. Have you ever seen so much water? <laughs> Kit, cover your nose, please. Achoo. I don't feel so good. Me neither. <gasps> you caught a bad cold, and you've given it to your sister. Our next stop, Chiliville. Let's get ready, Kate. Achoo. You two are not going anywhere. You'll have to stay in bed until the end of the cruise. The end of the cruise? Yeah, I'm afraid so. No! Not fair. <coughs> then along came a mysterious stranger. You two look awful. What happened? Kit got us both sick. He did? How? First, he wanted to wear his parka in the desert, and he got totally hot. Then, I told him to wear something warm. But I looked so much better in my shorts. And I told him to wear his raincoat to the waterfalls. But I didn't want to, and I got soaked and sick. Well... Anyone would get sick dressing like that. Oh, now I understand. If you don't want to get sick, you'll have to wear the right clothes for the weather. Thanks, Mom! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Kate. Let's try again. But this time, I promise I'll dress right. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their adventure all over again. But this time, Kit picked out clothes that were right for the weather. When it was going to be hot, Kit wore shorts. And when the captain said it was going to be cold, he wore a nice warm coat. And when the forecast called for rain, Kit looked happy as could be in his raincoat. Attention, passengers. Our next stop, the Rainbow Forest of Chiliville. The weather today is cool and breezy. Well, sounds like sweater weather to me. And Kit learned that when you pick the right clothes, you can have a great time no matter what the weather. Look! Wow! Safari so bad. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, safari hats. And cameras. Let's 
let's go on safari. We can take the first pictures ever of the sneaky sneaker monkey. Yeah. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. Kit and Kate could hardly wait to get into the jungle and take pictures of the sneaky sneaker monkey. Which way's the jungle, sir? That way. Do you have all your supplies? Supplies? Of course. You'll need bug cream for the swamp, hiking boots for the thorny thistles, and a flashlight in case it gets dark. They're over there. Thanks. Do you see the bug cream? No. Do you see the boots? No. Let's just go. Yeah, we got our cameras. We don't need that other stuff. Kid and Kate ran into the jungle swamp. Now where was that sneaky sneaker monkey? <laughs> there she is! Good thing we didn't wait. Come on, after her! But suddenly, Kit and Kate ran into something they hadn't prepared for. <laughs> Ow! Nipsy flies! Ouch! Stop it! Ow! Ow! If we only had that bug cream. <laughs> Where did she go? Ow! Ooh. She went that way. Come on! Ow! Kid and Kate finally got away from the Nipsey flies. There she is! <laughs> Quick, after her! But then they ran into another problem that they hadn't prepared for. Ow! Thorny thistles! Ow! 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 This hurts! <laughs> Oh, she's getting away! Oh, why didn't we bring those hiking boots? She's gone. We're never gonna get her picture. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Hello, explorers. <laughs> what wrong? We wanted to get a picture of the sneaky sneaker monkey, but she got away. Why she get away? First the Nipsey flies kept biting us. Then these thorny thistles hurt our feet. You kitties in jungle, you need bug cream and good shoes. We know, but it was taking so long to get them. And we didn't want to miss our chance to take your picture. Well, did you get picture? We never got a chance. Wait, I get it. If you take the time to get ready before you leave, you'll be ready to do what you want once you get there. Thanks, Dad. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kate. Let's try it again. Yeah, but this time we won't leave until we're ready. <laughs> now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their safari adventure all over again. But this time... I found the bug green. And here are the boots. And I've got the flashlights. Now we're ready. Not quite. Put on your bug cream. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Kid and Kate headed into the swamp. But this time, when the Nipsey flies tried to nip. Not on, Nipsey flies. This time, we're ready for you. <laughs> Ow, bug cream. <laughs> there she is. Come on. And when the thistles got thorny. Faster, Kate. No problem with these boots on. <laughs> <laughs> now, where was that monkey? Look, her sneaker prints. She went in there. But it's so dark inside. No problem. We have flashlights. Oh, yeah. Flashlights on. Hey, why are you following me? We just want to take your picture. Can we? Sure. Here's one for you. Wow, I never saw my picture before. Can I take some of you? Sure. sure. And together with their new friend, Kit and Kate had a picture-perfect day. <laughs> a royal fit. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, a measuring tape. And toy shears. Let's be tailors. Yeah, and make clothes fit for a king. The king of Buglandia. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's, let's go. go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight to the royal palace of Buglandia. Your Highness, the royal tailors. Oh, hi. 
Tomorrow, I shall be handing the throne to my son, Prince Bugster. And so, royal tailors, I command that you sew a fabulous suit for your future king. Mom, can I just wear a t-shirt? Everything you need is here. Pearl buttons, real pearls, obviously, gold thread, 24 carat, and most precious of all, this silk took a thousand silkworms five years to weave. But be careful, there's only just enough. Then let's get started. We'll need to measure your highness. Your highness. <laughs> that tickles. How tall? Nine. Nine, check. Waist? Seven. Seven, check. How many legs? One, two, three. Uh, two. Gesundheit. Where was I? Oh, that's right. Three, four, five. Five legs. Five legs? Are you sure? Yeah, I counted. Okay, five, check. That's everything, Your Highness. Good, we shall return this evening. Great, let's get to work. Oh, it's magnificent! Try it on, Bun Bun. How are the lapels? Okay. And the shoulders? On my shoulders. And the legs? Bun Bun, how are the legs? I can't tell. I can't find the sixth one. The sixth? You only made five pant legs. Don't you know how to count? What are we supposed to do with this? God, take them to the royal dungeon. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What happened? The queen hated the suit we made for the prince's coronation. How come? Didn't it fit? Well, it fit most of him. You see, we only made five legs instead of six. How did that happen? I don't know. We measured everything. And how many times did you measure everything? Once. Then how did you know if your measurements were right? Oh, I understand. When you measure everything more than once, you can check if you measured everything right the first time. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time we'll make sure to check everything before we start making anything. Now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their tailoring adventure all over again. But this time, they double-checked their measurements to make sure they were right. Five legs. Are you sure? Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, Kate. It's six. Six. Check. And now, with all the measurements checked and checked again, Kit and Kate cut the royal cloth and made a suit truly fit for a king. Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> we did it! We did it! We did it! Hooray! The Pet Set What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look! Bowls, cars, springy thingies. Let's play with these. Nah, I'm tired of toys. Well, what else can we play with? How about a pet? We can play with that. Great idea. Let's get a pet. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran off to Pete's Get a Pet store. Hey, Pete. We're here to pick out a pet. Maybe I could interest you in a blobsicle. Mm, too blobby. How's about a prickly porcupine? Too prickly. Well, I've got one fuzzicle left. Too cute. We'll take it. Great. Here's your fuzzicle starter kit. Defuzz brush, fuzz wash, and fuzz chow. Thanks. Come on, Kit. Let's go play with our new fuzzicle. Remember, take good care of it. 
Kid and Kate could hardly wait to get to Mud Puddle Park and start the fun. Lie down. Roll over. Spin. Hop. Shimmy, shimmy, shake. I didn't say shit. <coughs> you didn't say cough either. Kate, look. Great idea. You want to brush him? Don't be silly. That's no fun. Fuzzical. Fetch. I didn't know a brush could be a toy. Sure. Almost anything can be a toy. Wow. Look at him go. <laughs> Ew. Our fuzzical is so dirty. And smelly. And has funky fleas. Great idea. You want to wash it? Don't be silly. That's no fun. I'll blow bubbles and the fuzzical can pop them. Go, fuzzy fuzzical. Let's go. Kid and Kate were so excited to get ice cream, they ran off, leaving poor Fuzzical behind. <laughs> leaving poor, coughing, itching, stinky, and hungry Fuzzical behind. Where's Fuzzical? Fuzzical! 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 Oh no! Fuzzical ran away! Then along came a mysterious stranger. What is wrong, kitties? Our pet Fuzzical ran away. And playing with him was so much fun. Was your pet having fun too? Sure. I mean, I think so. But it was coughing. And scratching. And stinky. I bet it was hungry too. Doesn't sound like much fun to me. Yeah, I guess not. We were having such a good time that we didn't think about how the Fuzzical was feeling. Ah. Uh. Now I understand. A pet isn't a toy that you can just play with. It's a living thing that you have to take care of. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, instead of thinking only about ourselves, we'll take really good care of our pet. For sure. Now, now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their pet adventure all over again. But this time, they brushed the fuzzical. And when it got dirty, they washed it. And when it was time for a snack, they fed it too. Kid and Kate made their pet very happy. And that made the fuzzical happy to play and play for the rest of the day. Because if you take care of your pet, the fun takes care of itself. The Kitty Kitty Bop. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, top hats. And tap shoes. Let's be dancers and do the Kitty Kitty Bop. But I'm not very good at dancing. Don't worry, it's easy. Go, go Kitty, Kitty Kitties, let's go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran to the TV studio to perform on Who's Got Talent. Hi, we're the Dancing Kittens. When are we on? You're fourth, right here after the Daredevil Ducks. Kit, let's practice, okay? Later. We have plenty of time. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Yo-Yo! Wasn't he great? Come on, Kit, we gotta practice. Don't worry, it's easy. And now, prepare to be amazed by the amazing Magno. <gasps> Kit, please teach me, we're running out of time. Don't worry, it's easy. Let's give a warm round of quacks for the Daredevil Ducks! Quack! Quack, 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 quack! 
Okay, kittens, get yourselves ready. You're up next. Oh, no! You have to teach me now! All right. Watch. It's easy. Paws go up, paws go down. Nod your head and turn around. Now shake, 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 then hop, hop, hop. You're doing the kitty, kitty bop. Your turn. Wait, what do I do first? I just showed you. Paws go up, paws go down, nod your head, and turn around. Kit, I can't. It's too hard. No, it isn't. Just do what I'm doing. Okay, Kitten Kate, you're on. You ready? No. Come on, it's easy. Paws go up, paws go down, nod your head. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Whoa, what happened? Kate ruins everything. How? I taught her to dance, but she completely messed it up. Because it's hard. No, it's not. It's easy. See? Anyone can do it. How about the juggling? Can you do this? No, juggling's hard. It's easy for me. Maybe for you, but not for me. Oh, I get it. Just because something's easy for you doesn't mean it's easy for everyone. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, I promise to give you the time you need to learn. Then you'll be as good as I am. Maybe even better. Now we know, so back we go. Kit and Kate started their dancing adventure all over again. But this time... Let's practice, okay? Sure, Kate. Kit was patient and gave Kate all the time she needed to learn. Try again. You'll get it. And when something was too hard, Kit would keep showing her. No, hop three times. Oh, right. Until she learned the whole dance. I think I got it. Good job. Okay, Kitten Kate, you're on. You ready, Kate? I'm ready. Paws go up, paws go down. Nod your head and turn around. Now shake, 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 then hop, hop, hop. You're doing the kitty, kitty bop. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Hair and share alike. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, a hairbrush. And a comb. We can make pretty hairdos. For poodles. In Poodleville. Yeah. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's, let's go. go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran down the fanciest street in Poodleville, straight to their very own hair salon. Oh, it's fabulous. Yeah, I can't wait for our first customer. You mean Custy Mills. Woofy and Puffy Poodle. Wow! We are competing tonight in the Wolfminster Dog Show. And we need chic new hairdos. What style? Amazing. amazing. Then amazing it is. Have a seat. Let's get started, Miss Puffy. Kit, if we do a good job, everyone will come to our salon. Yeah, and I'm going to make Woofy just wow. Now, let's see. I'll need curlers, this gel, ribbon, sparkles, and this fur dye. That's everything. Okay, Woofy, a few curlers ought to do the trick. Ooh, the curlers! Voila! Now gel. Ooh, curlers. Great idea. No, Kate, those are mine. I took them off the shelf. But you're not using all of them. Doesn't matter. They're mine. Fine. Yeah. Some ribbon would be nice. Yes, ribbon divine. No, Kate, that's my ribbon. But there's plenty for both of us. But it's my ribbon. Then this is going to be my fur color. Hey, give it back, or Wolfie won't be beautiful. The nerve. Ugh. Outrageous. Ugh. Hey, let go. You let go. No, it's mine. No, it's mine. Is not. Is too. Let, let it go. go. Oh. Disaster. 
Astre! You'll, You'll never, never style in this town again! <laughs> wow! Whoa. Oh. They're the worst hairdos I ever seen! Ugh, what did we do? Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We were supposed to make the poodles amazing hairdos, but all we made was an amazing mess. How'd that happen? Kate grabbed the fur color, and it spilled everywhere. Why did you grab it? Because Kit wouldn't share it. He wouldn't share anything. Because it was mine. Yours? Did you bring everything from home? No, I got everything from the shelf. But aren't those things for everyone to use? Yeah, but I needed them. So did I. And what would have happened if you'd shared? Well, I guess Kate wouldn't have gotten mad, and then the fur color wouldn't have spilled, and the poodles wouldn't have run away. Hey, I understand. If you share, then everyone gets a chance to do what they want to do. Said with style. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we'll share all the supplies, no matter who gets them first. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their poodle styling adventure all over again. But this time... Kate, try these curlers. I've got plenty. Thanks! Here, try putting mousse on the curlers. Wow! And here's some ribbon for a bow. Now, let's give them each a touch of color. Show me how! Like this. Voila! Très magnifique! <laughs> With these doggy doos, we're sure to win the dog show. How about one for the cat? Smile pretty! Simply stunning! Who did your hair? Kit and Kit, of course! We'd never use anyone else. Thanks to Kit and Kate, Woofy and Puffy won first prize at the dog show. And that's nothing to bark at. We did it! We did it! Woohoo! <laughs>